If you put four pats of butter on this pancake, are you going to be able to get the pancakes underneath with an even schmear of butter? Probably not. Unless those pancakes are super hot, and many times I'll take the butter and I'll park it in between each pancake, hoping the heat of the pancake will help well melt it. But it doesn't end up giving me a full coverage of butter. The same is true on toast. You might end up piercing the toast before you get off. But Julia's laughing because she knows what I'm talking about. Um, or you end up wrecking the toast before you can get it evenly covered. Or you're doing something like you spend a lot of money on lobster tails and you want a nice coating of butter. This is the Cook's Essentials electric butter sprayer. You take one stick of butter, park it down inside, turn it on, and put it in this, in this base. Not only is it heating up the butter sprayer so it'll melt all the butter inside, but it's also charging this butter sprayer. And when you're ready to use it, you pick this up, and instead of pats of butter, I'm going to come over to this stack of toast, and I'm just going to spray butter on the toast. You ever wonder when you go into a diner why the, why the toast is so beautifully buttered? Look at that. See how it glistens and shines? It's got a nice, even coating of butter on that toast. Oh, just makes me want breakfast at a diner. Now, I want to let you know we have no reorder on this item. It's also clearance priced. Ordinarily, in the red, the black, and the white, we have this for $80.61 at retail. Tonight, we are $31.03 pennies less. We've sold 900 of this clearance pricing. If you want the white, I have 12 left. Wow. Black, 600 left in red, fewer than 800. Our head chef from uh, Cook's Essentials is Chef Aaron McCargo Jr. joining us live via Skype. Good to have you back, my friend. And would you agree that butter is better? David, butter is definitely better. And the only thing they can do to make it better is put some bacon in it. But right. since, they, since they haven't gotten there yet, we'll just deal with the butter and the sprayer. How's that? Hey, uh, Aaron, can I tell you real quickly before we begin, we have sold out of the white. So the no white way. is gone. I'm going to pass this off this way. Thank you. you okay. Got it? Okay, great. Now, clearance pricing, when they're gone, they're gone for good. I have only the black and the red remaining. Walk us through this, Chef. Hey, I tell you what, David, I, I want to work backwards this time because I always forget to mention these little sponges that come with the recipe book and the directions in the box where you get your butter sprayer because these are extra sponges here. So I know you were talking about we're out of the white, so I'm just going to tease a little bit. But once you get your butter sprayer going, you just pop this front cap off and you can change your, your sponge out because sometimes this butter will leak if you're using it as often as I do. And all you have to do is just put it on. But before I put it back on, I want you to see that we do have this little teeny uh, nozzle here. And you'll see one on your base. That's another backup so that if you do happen to get this one clogged, you can replace it. So I just wanted to make that note that you do have backup sponges and a backup uh, nozzle on your base. But when we're talking about how this thing works, it's really as simple as putting in from one tablespoon to four tablespoons of butter. And I wanted to show you, I have two hot bowls of rice here, and I got me some room temperature butter. And as you were showing about that toast, when you put this butter on there, it is set. Now, this is room temperature butter. Now, by the time that goes to melting or gets to the melting point, you've been done ready to eat. And most of the time, you find yourself actually stirring in that butter with the hot rice or your grits or your mashed potatoes to get it to melt. It's totally different with this butter sprayer. Once you put your one to, uh, to four tablespoons or half a stick of butter in the chamber, you close the lid, you sit it on your base, and you'll see four different colors. You'll see your white and your orange, you'll see your orange, but then you'll start to see it turn over to blue. Once you get to that blue state, that means that you're ready to go. As you can see, I'm already at blue. So that means that I'm ready to go at any time. And as it gets too low, it will start to light up orange and let you know with the flashing that you need to add more right. butter. Now, and you then you're good to go. You had mentioned one to four tablespoons. And I apologize. I think I misspoke. I said a stick of butter. So you want to put in a half stick of butter. Now, look at these pancakes. Yeah, unless it was for me and you. Yeah, here's a, here's a pancake. I can either try four butter pats or I can spray butter onto these pancakes. And here's more good news. If I want to get in between them, Lift them up, put another layer of butter in there. I'm also not over buttering these pancakes. I don't know if you could, it's possible to over butter anything, but if you are looking to try to be a little more careful with your calories, then you can just put a light spray on each pancake or just on the first couple, however you want to work this. Now, Chef, here's an idea. If I wanted to make my yes. own garlic toast, 
I spray on my butter and then I'll sprinkle on my toppings like garlic, salt, and the other goodies, right? Yeah. Absolutely, David. And what you're showing is just a, one of the many ways that you can use this butter spray. The great thing is when you're done, you can store it in your fridge, take it out, put it on the base, let it get warmed up and you're good to go. Ooh, here's some garlic powder. This is either garlic powder or salt, I'm not sure which. And really beautiful. One final thing I'll show you. Vegetables, always better with a little coating of butter. And maybe some of that Farmer John's mm -hmm. popcorn if you decide you want a little extra butter on there. Okay. Oh, All yeah. right. All right. There's a little oh, yeah. right there. <laughs> All right. Now. I see you. I see. All right. So I'm sorry. What was that, Sean? 1,200 have now been ordered. And I have 700 left in the red and 500 in the black. And white has sold out. <laughs> Chef, it is a great pleasure to have you back tonight. Thanks for spending part of your Wednesday with us. Always a pleasure to be with you, David. Have a great night, okay? You take care, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to move right along now. It's time now for Green Pan, which is a hot pick at our show, and not one skillet, but two. And Green Pan is a brand that brings ceramic nonstick to their cookware.